distance is a pedagogical phenomenon that profoundly affects both teaching and learning. Between and with separation of teachers and learners, there is a psychological and communication space to be crossed. The psychological and communication space is the transactional distance. The extent of transactional distance in an educational program is a function of a set of three variables. Different relationships and strength of relationship among and between variables make up transactional distance. Transactional distance is continuous rather than discrete, relative rather than absolute. Teachers and learners engage in purposeful and interactive dialogue. Each party is respectful, an active listener, a contributor, and a builder on the contribution of others. The direction of dialogue is towards the improved understanding of the student. In a one-way communication via TV, audio tape, teach yourself book, there is internal or silent interaction or a virtual dialogue. In male correspondence, there is less spontaneity but more thoughtful and reflective communication. Interactive electronic conference media has more intensive, personal, individual, and dynamic dialogue. The extent of dialogue between teachers and learners in some content areas and academic levels is higher than in others, like those in social sciences versus physical sciences and maths. Teachers engage in collaboration with other specialists in design teams and delivery networks using the following processes. Presentation, support of the learner's motivation, stimulation of analysis and criticism, giving of advice and counseling, arranging of practice, application, testing, and evaluation, and arranging for students' creation of knowledge. Learner benefits from the highly structured presentation strengths of the broadcast media as well as from the dialogue by correspondence and teleconferencing. A highly structured program with non-existent teacher-learner dialogue yields high transaction between learners and teachers. However, there is low transactional distance in teleconferences that have much dialogue and little predetermined structure. Students reveal patterns of their personality to determine their preference for the transactional distance level. Students use teaching materials and programs to achieve their own goals in their own ways under their own control. Others, however, need a process of reorientation to learning as adults. Teachers assist learners to acquire autonomous skills. In autonomy, attention is shifted to the ability of the students to share responsibility for their own learning. A learner is emotionally independent of an instructor as a self-concept of being self-directed. The degree of transactional distance is not the same for all learners. The theory of transactional distance states that as the level of interaction between teacher and learner decreases, learner autonomy must increase.